let's stay with that big story that we've been breaking here on CNN and IBN through this evening from the DMK just less than 24 hours to go before the swearing in ceremony of the new government the DMK one of the Congress's staunchest pre-poll allies with 18 MPs has said now it will only give outside support to the UPA government well ironically this announcement after cabinet talks between the Congress and Karunanidhi failed and this announcement being made by TR Balu we are expecting DMK Supremo Karunanidhi to give that swearing in ceremony tomorrow at 6:30 a miss. He's likely to, to leave for Chennai early tomorrow morning, but we do believe the Prime Minister and the UPA chairperson Sonia Gandhi have already got in touch with him. Remember what the DMK has said? It will support the UPA government from outside. The DMK says the Congress formula of birth distribution is simply unacceptable. In fact, it was DMK leader T.R. Balu who made that announcement. His inclusion in the cabinet has been a sticking point. Sources say the DMK with 18 MPs wants as many as seven to eight ministerial births. The DMK wants ministries to be given to Aragiri and Kanimori, both children of Karunanidhi, also the grand nephew Dayanidhi Maran, A.R. A. Raja, and T.R. Balu. The Congress maintains talks are still on. The Congress is not acceptable to DMK. The Honorable Minister has discussed with the leader, Dr. Kalanya Karnanidhi. At the end, my leader, Dr. Kalanya Karnanidhi, has advised me to inform you that DMK will support from outside. They are our alliance partner. They, they are supporting us. They have said that we will support from outside. This is because of the reason we are discussing. It, uh, it was proposed to them that let us maintain this status quo. They wanted something more. So it was thought that no, this is too much. They are demanding too much. They should be more reasonable. And this is where they declare that no, we will support from outside. Okay, they are being too demanding. What is it that the DMK really wants? Take a look at where this standoff has now taken place. At the moment, the DMK is unhappy with the birth allocation. They want the portfolios of their choice. They had portfolios like information, technology, telecom, and they had the environment as well as the surface transport ministries. They want seven ministries, 18 MPs, seven ministries. The Congress was ready to give six. But our sources are saying this is not a problem that cannot be overcome. The other one. And their other demand is that now they are saying they will support the government from the outside if they don't get what they want at the moment.